Gobble, gobble, gobble. With Thanksgiving just a week away, we're helping you find some easy and new recipes to bring to the table this year. She's a recipe creator empowering families to cook simple and delicious meals without the stress. It's Recipes with Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, thank Hi. you for joining us today. Thanks for having me again. I love the holiday season, so uh, this is like my jam. Okay, and yes. speaking of your jam, this <laughs> this little dish that you have for us yeah. is really going to elevate the hostess game, it yes. sounds like. Yes, so, and I'm sure simmer pots right now are like all the rage, yeah. so everyone's like, how do you make it, what ingredients and stuff, so this, I just want to teach how to quickly make one, okay. but then also some storing tips, like you don't make it and then toss it that day. Yeah. There's actually ways to make it last a few days, so like if you're doing Thanksgiving yeah. or Christmas Eve or Christmas, there's ways that you can make it last longer. Yeah. And I think that's super important just so you're not tossing a bunch of stuff that is wonderful. And so. for those that might not know about the trend, this simmer pot really, it's what gives you that homey holiday feeling. Yes. That it scent. sits on the stove and yeah. it just simmers all day on low and it's with fresh ingredients. And yeah. so it's not like you can use dehydrated. A lot of people sell it in bags like dehydrated, but you yeah. put it into water on your stove and it rehydrates everything and it just makes your house smell wonderful like when people walk in yeah. you know when someone is simmering a simmer pot oh it's, my I goodness love it. all so, right so what's the first step yeah so the first is pick out your saucepan okay this one I like it's clear because then it's kind of gives it more of a festive feel yeah. but this one can go on the stove you can use whatever type you want I do not think you should go out and buy a special one yeah. I like this one just because you can see through it okay and then what you'll do is you'll take an orange knife I'm not gonna cut one because I kind of already did that here but okay. you'll cut them into just like one fourth inch or an inch or half an inch or whatever you'll put it into the pan right and then Easy so it, yes and at this point you don't have it on the stove you're just okay. prepping it here prepping it then you're gonna take some cranberries and you're gonna put it in here oh which and so looks that's so fun and festive I love it that's why I like the glass yeah. saucepan just because it does it so then once you get done with that you're gonna take a bay leaf so a bay leaf I mean people put these in their stews and yeah. stuff but it does add a lot of like scent flavor if that yeah. makes sense um, and then you'll do cinnamon sticks and Ooh. I usually do a couple of these okay um, usually when you buy them there's one or two but if you want and you buy one and you want to add more ingredients yeah. to it you totally can okay fresh rosemary or pine so sometimes people Ooh. if they have a fresh like if they have a real Christmas tree yes cut a piece of pine off that toss it into yeah. it or if you want to do rosemary you can and then the whole clove okay. I do so I'll put some of these on there you see ground clove you can probably put that in there yeah but it's just these like some people don't even know what a whole club yeah. looks like, but you'll I see didn't it even in your know. recipe. I know, and <laughs> I, I love using them. And then star of anise. So this is something where they're a little pricey, so if you can find them on sale, yeah. I really recommend that. Okay. It has a dark licorice scent to mm. it. I don't like dark licorice, licorice, but I do love the smell of this. But you will and want to And I can to already taste. tell. It's already smelling I wonderful. It. So once you have all of these in there, that's really yep. it. So the last step is yep. the water, right? So you'll want to add water okay. just to cover the potpourri. Okay. So, and then once you get all this water in there, you will let it just put it on the stove top. Yeah. You'll bring it to a boil. That's the key. You're going to bring it to a boil okay. to get everything really hot. Yeah. Reduce it to low, like yes. simmer. You don't want it to actually cook. You just want it to be on low, low simmering. Simmer. And then once it does that, you'll just let it like cook and simmer all day. It'll all bring day all this long. scent to your house. It's it's the best. But then once you're ready to get rid of it, I yeah. always tell people take remove it from the heat. Okay. Then you'll let it bring it down to room temp. Make sure it goes down to room temp, and you can store it in your fridge. Perfect. And then the next day. Put it back on the stove top, yeah. reheat it at room temp, and it boils it back up. And you can use it for a couple days. My so, goodness, it's yeah. the gift that keeps on giving yes. this holiday yes. season. Well, it smells wonderful, and I can only imagine what it's going to do for people at Thanksgiving when they yes. can smell that walking in the it. home. It's going to make the dinner. So yes. thank you so much, thank Rachel, you for, for having sharing me. this yeah. with us today.